Hey, hey there, magic makers. It's Deb D here for your Sunday Surrender. Welcome back to the magic, or if you're new here, welcome to the magic circle. For our Sunday Surrender today, I will be doing as I do, helping you out with understanding what's happening above, what's playing out in the sky, with a little bit of, you know, news and intuitive guidance, and then we're gonna play with some oracle cards to get an insight. So, welcome to the Magic Circle. If you're here in the Facebook group, I'm so pleased to connect with you, the very first community ever created for Big Life Magic. Maybe you're tuning in in our Magic Home, the membership. You know your home and your magic there. And if you're tuning in via YouTube, Welcome to the bigger playground. I'm so pleased that you have found me or are tuning back in with me. If you want to keep playing along with your magic, push subscribe now. Okay, magic makers, here we are at another Sunday Surrender looking at the energy of our week ahead. But wait, there's more. So yes, this is indeed a week of new beginnings for we have the energy of our new moon in Virgo playing out right now. And this is also the new moon, which is the beginning of a new season for us all. And there's more playing out. So think new moon, I can set some new intentions. New season, that's a bigger playground, a bigger canvas for some magic I want to bring into my lived reality, manifest earthbound. And the sky's got quite a bit of activity going on. So let's figure that all out. And let's tune in with what do we need to know now and what's coming up for our season ahead. So if you've been playing along in the magic with me for a while, you know that often in a Sunday surrender, I'm looking at about the week ahead, like what's playing out? Is there any, any major planet moves or what's the moon up to? And today I was guided to share with you absolutely around what's playing out now, but what I was shown was show them further, show them further. This is a bigger opportunity playing out now. For right now, we are in the energy of our new moon in Virgo. Virgo likes to be grounded, wants to know the detail. Is there a plan? What's the strategy? Let's get into being practical and realistic. What are we up to? So Virgo is asking to really come down to ground now and whatever it is that you're wanting to bring about in your life, what is the detail of that? This is a great new moon to set some really kind of bullet point plan around how am I going to get what I want? And there's more. For this is the new moon that starts this whole new season for us all. So we have now the beginning of spring or autumn and fall. So if you are in the southern hemisphere, you're coming out of the winter season into spring and new. If you're up in the northern hemisphere, you're finishing your summer and coming into that fall autumn, which whether you're in the south or the north, September kind of has this new feeling because we're either coming out of the winter into spring, which is like always, you know, the fresh blossoms. That's in the south, coming out of the big rest. In the north, in September, kids are going back to school, people are coming back from summer holidays. So it feels like the year begins again. So this change of season is actually a really excellent time to like stop, pause, look at the detail in this last chapters of my year ahead, what am I about? What am I working on? What do I want to bring into my life? Or what do I want to take to the next stage? And we're not done yet. For we're starting a new season, 
with this amazing new moon in Virgo, which helps us to focus in on those details. And then we have Mercury in this first chapter of this new season in our lunar month that is beginning now. Mercury is going to go dancing backwards in retrograde. Venus has already started that, so has Mars. So let's break that down. Mercury is going to say, I'm going to want you to look at those details again. Uranus is saying, I'm going backwards for a whole five months so that you can spend some time inside making some changes. And Mars going retrograde is saying, let's review the actions that you're taking. So what you can see when you start to look as above, so below, the sky is actually saying, yeah, now's the time to make plans, but it's also a time to be flexible and available to shifting and changing inside those plans for things will change this season. They just may not change exactly how you think they're going to. So with all of that in mind for our Sunday Surrender today, me, you and the Gaia Oracle cards are gonna look into what's this season all about? So it's more than this new moon. For this new moon is this beginning point of this whole month really that we're moving into in September with a lot of moves in the sky and an opportunity to begin again. Like maybe your 2022 hasn't actually brought to you what you thought it would. It's not too late. Or perhaps there's been a surprise that Uranus has given you with like, whoa, I didn't realize that was gonna happen and now I'm in this new reality needing to review details. As we do magic makers, just breathing in now and anchoring into your own magic. Every time you breathe in, you're drawing that magic into you, your spirit into you. Because we're gonna be doing now our oracle reading for the season ahead. And each card is gonna have a message for you. I'm gonna be reading the cards for us all, but I'm gonna ask you now to anchor into, when you think about the season ahead, what is it that you're hoping to bring into your life? Or what do you know needs to change? Or what's already playing out that you know will be continuing to play out over the next couple of months? Just breathe in and anchor into that now because we're gonna ask the Oracle for some insights into that. And the first card that we're gonna pull is what do we need to know as this season begins? So you may know, or you may have heard before, Begin as you wish to continue. It's like a way of being. Begin as you wish to continue. So what is this season coming up? But let's begin as we wish to continue. What do we need to know now? New moon energy, season is just dawning. We've got <clears throat> only a couple of weeks before we hit our equinox, a big shifting time in energy. What do we need to know as this new season and with the light of this, even though it's a little bit light, it's still light, the light of this new moon. What do we need to know? So we're asking now the Gaia Oracle, everyone anchor into your own magic, smile. We're open, we're allowing, we are perfect channels to see through this energetic mirror with what do we need to know now? Asking the Gaia cards, going to pull more than one card magic maker so this is just the beginning like this it is just the beginning of the season so we're asking now the Gaia Oracle please show us in the energetic mirror what is it that is in our highest good to know be aware of bring into our consciousness be aligned with energetically as we begin this new season I'm feeling it are you feeling it Breathing, anchoring, smiling. Let's get our first card, Magic Makers. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Zen Garden. You see that? Look how calm she looks. Zen Garden, your inner sanctuary. This is so interesting because the Virgo um, energy is also aligned with, in the tarot, the Hermit card. Now the Hermit card doesn't mean I'm going to be antisocial. The Hermit card means I'm going to go inside to do a little check. 
I'm going to go inside for the answers, not looking out there. So that is already a part of our Virgo energy. And it's also a part of this Uranus retrograde energy about like looking on the inside, what on the inside needs to shift or change, not so much on the outside. So we ask the cards around this season coming up. What do we need to know as we begin? And the cards are saying you begin on the inside. And when you get the Zen garden, the inner sanctuary, what it's saying is whatever you want on the outside, create that on the inside for you. So let's ground that into an example. If you're a magic maker there, sitting there and vibing in, I just really need to shift my abundance. Like I've been working on this for a while and I want this to be a part of my new season. I literally want more money in the bank and a more abundant feeling in my life. If that's you, you're gonna now start to tap into what is abundant within you. Where in your life is there already abundance? And also looking at if it hasn't been turning up on the outside, is there a story on the inside around your abundance that you need to change? What about if you're looking for some love? You want someone to kiss and some hugging? Mm -hmm. Lots of magic makers want this. It's a part of our human experience, wanting to connect to others. If you are seeking desperately to connect to someone on the outside, why don't you try connecting to yourself first? So are you picking up what I'm putting down here? We begin this season with an invitation to go inside. This is very new moon. New moon is always the time to pause, reflect, go within before we start reaching out. Great positioning for the beginning of a new season. Plus it's very early days of this Uranus retrograde. Go inside. Go on the inside to begin. And maybe ask yourself, what on the inside needs to shift in order for me to bring about this season what I want? Because really, you are the change, you are the magic, healing's an inside job. I could go on and on, but you're picking up what I'm putting down here, magic makers. Let's start on the inside. Now let's get a little bit more. So we're saying yes to the Gaia Oracle. We're saying, okay, we see that alignment, that it starts on the inside with a review, a looking within, not seeking something in your outside world to change. Not yet. Looking inside first. So if you're looking on the inside, and this is how we begin, let us now ask the Gaia, what else? What next? Because I think sometimes what can happen is we go on the inside, we get some insights, we have some reflections, and then there's a bit of moment of stuck. I don't know what to do about this. What's the next step? And people can get stuck there in, okay, well, I can see what needs to change on the inside, but I can't see how to change it. So magic makers, let's ask the Gaia Oracle if we begin as we wish to continue, which is on the inside, what's the step beyond the inside? What's next? Or what's going to help us shift from inside to manifest reality? So what is next? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's just tune in for a minute, Magic Makers. Just like what you need to do here at this point in an Oracle reading, is really, really open and allow. For you don't wanna to start to expect what's next. You wanna be open to the guidance that is in your highest good, which is what we're doing right now. The Gaia Oracle and also Uranus and the new moon are saying inside. Virgo new moon is also about wholeness. No longer needing to see yourself as broken or fractured or parts of you aren't working. How can you come back to a full breath, a full wholeness within, and then take a step? So now we're gonna ask the Gaia Oracle. We're looking at a whole season here, not just the beginning, the whole season, but we're not towards the end of the season yet. Like what's next? 
What's next, Gaia, in terms of this season ahead? Because there's going to be a few steps forward and backwards with this retrograde energy. What's next? Purification. Purification water. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so remember how I was just saying moments ago, people are like, okay, I did the reflection, I see the stuff, what do I do next? You clear it, magic maker. You figure out what you need to purify and let go of so you don't take it into the new season. So this happens with people with their manifestations is they want something else out here that's not a part of them. Something that they know would bring them joy or create greater abundance or love in their life and it's there and you want it. And you start to move towards it but as you're moving towards it what you're doing is taking all the old stuff which has kept you away from this and you're trying to drag it along with you to get here. That is absolutely the hardest way, the rocky road, the slippery slope. You may not make it. I'm just saying. What about if you start on the inside job and you figure out, okay, what's actually blocking my abundance? Or where am I not loving myself so therefore not seeing that love in my life? Or how, how am I actually putting some fear patterning around my career or, um, or purpose? Whatever it may be that you saw on the inside, what you want to do next, Magic Maker, is purify and cleanse it. Now, how do you do that? You can do that literally by spending time in water like going for a swim, allowing the water to take it, whether you're by a lake, a river, an ocean. You can do it in the shower, in the bath. You can also do it using moon water and drinking your moon water. There's so many different ways. And what you want to be doing is first making the commitment to letting it go, purifying whatever that is and allowing the water to wash it away. Another great way to do this is to do an energy cleanse. So if you go to the Big Life Magic playlist on YouTube here, there's a, um, a meditation and healing activation playlist. And one of those meditations that I have done for the whole community, which I myself do more than once, is an energy cleanse. So what we're doing at this season is we're starting with the inside and we're cleaning up working with some energy of cleansing and water the element of wash it away literally if you want to know more about water rituals you can comment below because i can share about that inside our magic membership we do often work with moon water and i speak about water the element as purification so the magic is available to you, just ask Magic Maker. Now let's get the next card and say what is the overall um, energy and message that we can connect to for this upcoming season? What is the overall energy and message or vibration that we can connect to for this season coming forward? So we've taken the message that we're going to begin on the inside and do some cleaning up, some purification. But you know what you want, Magic Maker. You know what you're connected to. Abundance, love, a new adventure. Whatever it is that you're connected to, what's the bigger story in this season connected to that for us all? What is like the overarching, showering down on us all energy? of this season coming up, knowing that in this season, we've got some retrograde energy, we're in a whole new season of, of energy, but in that, with this retrograde, there's a lot of review, a lot of change. Transformation is absolutely possible now, if you allow the disruption, if you actually allow the letting go of the things that you know, I really can't take that forward because it's gonna block me from my manifestation. If we're purifying and starting from the inside, what is the bigger energy playing out for us in this season for us all? And this is if you're in the north or the south, because we're all actually in the same energy. 
what is the bigger story, bigger energy pattern playing out now? What is available to us to tap into? Let's see what's revealed. Feels a little bit exciting. What do we got? Oh, hello. Yes, achievement. This is why it felt exciting before I pulled the card. Achievement, hello, magic maker. See that thing that I was saying before, tap into what it is that you want? You can get it. Because what is the overarching energy? Remember, whenever we're working with our cards, we're asking first the question, and then the card is seen through the lens of the question. So we asked, what's this overarching energy of this whole season? It's achievement. So if you want more love, if you want more abundance, you want a new adventure, you can get it because that energy is available now. The thing to be mindful of, Magic Maker, is this. Start on the inside and make a commitment to the achievement, whatever that achievement is for you. Make a commitment to that. Because if you don't believe it, the universe ain't going to meet you there. The universe is saying achievement is the overarching energy here of this whole season. The universe is laying it out for you. You've got to meet the universe there. In this inside job, when we're doing this purification and cleaning up, whatever worry, fear, doubt, old story, old thought pattern that is in the way of you getting what you want, clean it up, magic maker purify and let that go again if you want more information about water rituals let me know I can do a video on that because what we have available is achievement this is powerful energy the other thing to know about the achievement is you may have an idea about how you're going to get what you want and the universe has a slightly different idea, which is why retrogrades do often shift and change what we think is going to happen. That's actually the universe realigning you. So in this season, let's be flexible so that we can actually shift and dance and change with the energy that is already aligned for us with this achievement card. Yeah, so we want to be open and available to what the universe is sharing with you. Is that coming through an intuitive hit? Is that coming through a powerful conversation that you had? Is that coming through hearing messages or praying with your angels or your guides? However it might be that you're in conversation with the universe, keep that conversation open. For this season, absolutely, is the season to move towards what you want to achieve. You may even achieve it within the season. Hello, magic maker. But things are going to change first. Let's now ask, does feel the need to get one more card? What else is it that we need to know? So we've already got inside jobs, Zen garden. It all actually starts in me. Begin as you wish to continue. And we're going to clean it up with some purification. Use water rituals to cleanse that away. And why, why are we doing this? Because you know, Magic Maker, what you want. You know what you want. And actually, if you go inside and look, you know why you don't have it. Maybe it's an old hurt, a wound that needs healing. Maybe it's a, it's a scarcity patterning around your abundance. Whatever it is that you need to purify, do it. Because this season is lining us up, shifting us, changing us, towards achievement like vibe into that magic maker how good it's going to feel when you get what you're looking for what you're dreaming about when you're standing in that reality be open allow yourself to be shifted because if you already had what you wanted, you wouldn't have the dream you're sitting with now. To get the dream or the desire or to shift that, you're gonna have the change. 
You can have to let the universe in. You can have to let some old stuff go. It's so worth it because this season is connected to achievement. You want it. Go and get it, Magic Maker. Okay, final card for this reading, for this Sunday Surrender, Gaia Oracle. I'm just kind of tuning in now, like what else do we need to know? Maybe it's something else about the inside job, the achievement, the purification, but just like what else it might be an obstacle or a blind spot or an opportunity that we're not tapping into? Gaia Oracle and all the angels and the archangels and the guides and the soul family connected to us all now, working with me and you here in this live reading. What else do we need to know? So just breathe in, open, smile, magic maker. Just be open to receive because we're willing to see it now. It may have been in our blind spot or it may be kind of hidden behind a fear. And they're like, look there, look there. That's where the goodness is. <gasps> yeah, we just got to jump a card. Here we are. Oh man, look at this. Purification fire. So I was like, what else do we need to know? What's in the blind spot? Okay, it's time to do a little bit of cleaning up, magic makers. Water and fire. Purification. So, it's an inside job. You are going to begin the season with going inside. That's very new moon, very Uranus retrograde. Spend some time over the next handful of days, maybe the next week or so, as we begin this new season in this early part of this lunar cycle going to the inside. You cannot blame anyone else anymore about something that is not manifest in your world. You can't blame your job, you can't blame your partner, you can't say, well, that happened to me as a kid. Well, it did, all of that stuff is true, but it's in the way. Go inside and have a really serious conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. I actually did this ritual of kind of going inside actually only anchoring into my own truth what do I really need to see earlier in the week had a hard conversation with myself on Tuesday and oh, it did feel a bit edgy but man by Wednesday so much better and what did I do after this hard conversation I went to the beach and I purified that literally in the ocean so we have this inside job and what we need to know, what's the step, and then what else do we need to know? Double purification. Water and fire. So magic makers, if you want me to talk about water or fire rituals, let me know in the comments and I can do some videos about that as we move into this season. Because there's a lot to say about that. But we're getting stuff out of the way, which is also what retrograde energy does. Retrograde energy makes it feel like, ah, oh, we're going backwards or we have to redo something or realign or, ah, oh, that thing happened. I didn't want it to happen. Why? The universe is always working in your favor. And what it's doing now is shifting some things around so we can better arrange it for you to get to this. So now, Magic Maker, breathe in, smile. And just feel it. You end this season and you've achieved. You have what you want. You feel the way you want to feel. You can see it playing out in your world. Connect to that energy and make a commitment to moving towards that. And that commitment is going to take some purification, some cleaning up work with the elements of water and fire to assist you and know that you don't have to do it all this week allow 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 and just be open that in order to get what you want you're gonna have to let go of the stuff that is in the way purifying with water and fire purifying your heart purifying your spirit, cleaning up your mental thoughts, and literally getting into the detail. What do I need to do? What do I need to rearrange? For it's all laid out there for you, Magic Maker. It's all there. The magic map towards your achievement is there. You're just going to have to go inside and do some cleaning up in order to get there. 
So whatever is with you now, Magic Maker, whatever you're kind of connecting to is like, oh yeah, there's that thing, that old story, that old patterning, or I keep coming around the bend to that same fight with the same person. Whatever it is that you know that you need to cleanse or clear or purify, connect to that now and make a commitment to doing that because you want to. You want to get towards your achievement, yes? Oh yes, indeed. Magic makers, always a delight to connect with you. If you're here in the Facebook group, thank you for being with me over this time. It's the first community created with Big Life Magic. If you're tuning in on YouTube, remember, I want to see you again in the magic, so subscribe. If you're in our magic home, if you're tuning into this in the magic membership, then excellent, because guess what we're doing next season? We're doing all about magic rituals and tools Indeed, we will be looking at water and fire as we move into our new season in our magic home. And all magic makers, as it is the weekend of the new moon, tonight I will be sharing, holding, opening the new moon circle of magic, which is Sunday night tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna put a link below so you can tune in and join us in the circle if that aligns with you. If it's not in your time zone, then what you want to do is still register to get the replay and then you'll also be in tune with some extra magic lining up for this season that I have in store for all magic makers connected to me and to Big Life Magic. As always, it is my delight to be your magical guide. I'm hoping that if you can, you join us in the new moon circle of magic. If not, I want you to have your own circle of magic. I want you to begin on the inside, magic maker, for work on the inside to bring about what you want on the outside. And when you go inside, I want you to smile and affirm to yourself, I am the magic. Because you are magic maker, you are the magic, and I believe in the magic in you, and I cannot wait to see all your achievement come to manifest life by the end of our season. Happy season, happy new moon, big love, breathe in, smile. You, my friend, you are the magic. <laughs>